Hi everyone, it's Matt here. Uh, I thought today I would just do a very brief, if we can help it, follow-up video on the Rock Mic kit. Uh, a couple of, th couple of things came up with my original try. So what we'll do is, we'll have a look at my second go. So opening up, you'll see that I don't have it in a proper case. It's in a... well, it's in a temporary home at the moment. It's in a, a cardboard gift box. And I've you might notice I've put in uh, one of the 50 ohm resistors there. And that's going to a small PC case fan, uh, just to keep that heat, heat sink there on the cool side if I can help it, because it does seem to run a lot warmer than the original one, which I guess is a good indicator of power output. Okay, so here we'll try and get a, a close-up of the coil windings. This is the 8 to 2. Uh, there's that one there. Uh, low pass filter ones. So, what I'll do is I'll compare those ones to the original kit that I tried. Okay, so here's my original Rock Might. And, oh, if I can get that just there. Uh, what I've noticed is this 8 to 2 on this winding, they're very separate, but on the good one, that puts a good output, they're kind of all ruffled together. I don't know if that helps or not, but it seems to have helped in this case. Uh, that one was... If anyone's done this kit or looked at the instructions, you'll know that this one is very hit and miss in terms of winding it. So again, these possibly aren't perfect, but this is what's worked for me. This has finally gotten the rock might that I... the rock might of my dreams. There we go. I'll stop talking, I'll just let you get a good look at those. Okay, before a little test demonstration with the uh, my Days antenna tuner and the Rockmite kit, I'll just show you uh, what's going on here. So this is the Rockmite kit in its little uh, cardboard box here with the fan spinning up. And there's a 12 volt AGM battery. And there is a 50 ohm uh, little resistor plugged into the output on the antenna tuner. Uh, if you're familiar with antenna tuners, I don't need to explain what's going on here, but what happens with some antennas is they can have an impedance that is higher than what the transmitter is expecting, uh, which is generally 50 ohms. So what you're doing with a antenna tuner is you're balancing out the capacitance and send inductance and things like that so that the antenna and the transmitter uh, work together. So I'll just, uh, I'm just keying on the rock mic now and this little red LED shining shows that our antenna quote unquote which isn't really there is not tuned but as I change uh, one of the dials I can also change the, um, the inductance and the little selector there. That's what that big uh, coil there is. As I tune, there we go. When that light goes out, it's tuned and transmit away, hypothetically. And the only thing that this antenna tuner is connected to is obviously the output of the rock mic kit. So the power that's lighting up that little red LED is just uh, raw RF energy. So that's it guys. I didn't want to spend too much more time on the Rockmite kit. I just wanted to clarify the windings, uh, how to wind those coils. Because I know uh, on my first attempt, I, the instructions weren't too clear. And I've, I know that some people weren't getting the right inductance either. Um, but having made two of the kits, it, I've had some trial and error. And I think I've got it okay.